This unknown is so scary. Yeah, fear about the future for the people who evacuated International Towers and those who are helping them right now with temporary housing. A big decision is just two weeks ahead. Hello, I'm Dave Sess. I'm Lindsay Watson. Over a month ago, a gas explosion ripped through the realty building in Youngstown, shutting down the area nearby. It also forced more than 150 residents of an apartment building to leave their homes with no guarantees of when they can return. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has the latest. Although there are now a pair of excavators and a crane sitting outside the damaged realty building downtown, there's been little other visible activity and no word when residents of the now vacant International Towers next door will be able to go back home. And I think that's one of the frustrating things. We can't tell the people that are asking us and they are the ones that are absolutely being affected. What's going to happen? What's my next step? Just over two weeks ago, the 155 residents of the high rise were forced to leave, many taking whatever they could carry or stuff into boxes or luggage. They were evacuated after engineers said the realty building was in imminent danger of collapse. Initially, the plan was to find shelter for 30 days. We are just concerned about what's going to happen to these people after July 15th and beyond. Is this going to be three or more weeks? Is this going to be two? I don't know if anybody has that answer, but it would. that's, I think, whatever he's looking for. While leaders of local social service agencies wait to see what plans are put forth to make the downtown area safe again, bills to shelter all the evacuees are piling up. Within days of the evacuation, the state's Office of Community Assistance came up with $200,000 to cover just hotel costs, but that's only for one month's time. And the directors tell me they're also concerned about plans to eventually allow residents to return to their apartments. We had 72 hours to move everybody. We got them moved. Um, we're going to have to move them back into their homes. These are our most vulnerable people in our community. and. It, they're going to need all the assistance that, you know, that they can get. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.